So your students created a pages document or a keynote or maybe they created something on the web or took a screenshot and you would like to collect those things all in one place without using email. Let's talk through that process. The first thing the teacher would need to do is click create and go down to form. I'm going to call it Demonstration 2 Turn-In. I always label these turn-ins because then I know I'm collecting work. I always require my students to log in and I automatically collect their, their usernames, which is their email. could be useful later. My first question is, was, what is your first name? That is a text question. It doesn't really matter if I have multiple students with the same name because I'm also collecting their usernames, so I will be able to tell which Joe or Amy turned in their work. Make that a required question. If they created something on the web and they're going to turn in a URL, what is the URL of your creation? That's pretty straightforward. I'm going to require that and go from there. And now the second one would be if they created something like a pages document or a keynote or maybe a Google Earth file and I would like to collect that. It's also going to be a text. Upload your file to Google Drive. Click Share and select Public Anyone with a link copy the link that appears and paste it below. Click required, click done. Okay, I'm going to quick pick a theme. We'll use the fish this time. Click view live form. Again, I'm going to copy this URL at the top go back to my haiku, decide how I want to share this information. Maybe it's just on-page text for Monday's class. Number one, create your work. Number two, turn it in here. However it is, I decide I want to distribute this. Paste. Okay. Alright, so my students can see that on haiku. So if they create a URL, or something with a URL, let's say they made this Google Earth tour here, we're going to copy the URL, go to our class, click turn it in here, Walt, the URL of my creation, paste. I accidentally made both of those required, so I'm just going to fake that one out for a minute. Okay, so that's all they would do for the URL. If they needed to submit a file, your work as the teacher is done. What does the student do? They go to their drive and they click this button, the upload button. They're going to upload a file and they're going to navigate to find the file that they are going to submit and choose it. It's going to upload the file. Now they can click the share button right here and they get their same share box that they're used to seeing. They can click change. Anyone with the link can view is just fine. They click save. Now they're going to copy the link in the box that says link to share. Again it says sharing at the end of it. And now they are going to go to the form. Walt Normally they wouldn't have two boxes and they're going to paste that URL right there and they're going to click submit. So they're done. Now what does the teacher see and how do they get things? This is the demonstration turn in responses. So for our first response we got the URL. We can click on it and we can go straight to whatever it is that the student turned in. Pretty slick. We can make notes. We can use spreadsheet to email. Or if they uploaded a file we can click on that file, go to the link, and we'll either see the document if it's able to be previewed by Google 
or a box will show up that says like if it's a keynote there will be a box here that says download we can click to download or if we want to download the file we can either click this little down arrow button right here or and then it downloads or we can click whoops file and download and we'll get a copy of the file as well either way works and we get the work without getting emails from all of our students we also get the very convenient timestamp and so we know when the work was submitted as well